Okay, so here's where we're at with this John Deere over here. Is, uh, we still got to do the brakes on it. Both belts are on. I got to sharpen the blades, get the deck back. start mowing his lawn with it so let's get it done okay your brakes are going to be behind the tire here i'm going to pull the tire off and show you but it should be down right in there and it's pretty simple but let me pull this tire off and show you what we got i have a warp light here somewhere that will help us with our lighting okay so we're going to pop the e-clip off right here just be careful, don't go flying, you don't know where it goes. Like that. You'll have a washer here. Lay them off to the side so you know where they're at. And you also got to watch there's a key in here that it will fall out. I'm doing this in the shed here. I'm doing this in the shed here so I don't lose any parts. Because there's my key just fell. Okay. There's your brake assembly back here. Right here. This whole thing is your assembly. We're going to take that apart. We're going to just take, the, take this nut off. This is your adjusted nut. But I'm just going to take this whole assembly off. And I'm going to put the new shoes in. Or the new pads. This arm is shaped funny. It has like a bend in it, which acts like a cam, which applies your brake. So we're gonna take all that off. You'll see that in a minute. Let me see what I can do. keep you in here. Got the axe on the way, so that's not gonna be good. Let's see how that work. Yeah, you also can see the disc back in here. Okay, that's your little brake disc. That's all there is to it. This is pretty much any little tractor going to have the, this set up. All right, so I'm going to need a half inch. Okay, I'm going to need two little pins in here. that off Get that off all right my parts are already falling down okay you got these two little pins here they go Bring this around so you can see it. I'm gonna pull this off. Okay. They go in these two slots here, and this cam will be pushing on them to push the brake shoe in. So there's the, there's the shim here. Okay. That pad don't look that bad really compared to the new ones. Take this disc off. Okay. And there's the other side, other pad right there. Which that kind of looks pretty wore down to me. That's probably why we have no brakes. There's the new pads, the part number. This is a John Deere 150, LT 150, so. This is John Deere LT150. There's the part number for the brakes. Got these off of Amazon. I think they were 10 bucks at that. But compare them. These two are the same, pretty much the same thickness. Okay. This was the, where'd it go? This was the inner pad right there that's wore down kind of but not as bad as I thought it would be but it's wore down so 
So I'm going to put one in there. It's going to be fun to get to stay there. You can always put a little something in the back of it to hold it, like a little dab of grease, but I don't really like that idea. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to start this. I'm going to start the disc on it. Make sure you don't knock your little key out of there. Make sure that gets in in the keyway here so that otherwise you won't have any kind of break. Okay, so I'm going to get that started. I wanted to hit this with some cleaner before I put it all together, but I'm going to be able to. that in there get that on there there we go did I put it on backwards I think I did I did I put it backwards let me get some let me get some brake cleaner here just spray the disc a little bit I also want to get this out of here while we're here Now, I'm going to try to get that disc back on there again without getting fingers all over it. There we go. I'm going to take one of the new shoes, one of the new pads, tuck it up in there, push the... Something not right here. Am I doing this? I don't know why. No, I had it right the first time. All right, yeah. I had it right the first time. So let's turn this till it catches the key. Make sure the key stays in. What is that? Get this in place. And push that on to Okay. There it is. That's how much it wore down because that shaft is sticking out before. All right. And we're going to take this. As you see, like I was trying to explain to you, how that swivels. And the cam part of it pushes on those two pins. So I am going to... I'm actually going to take this off. I think it'll be a little easier to do it this way. You put the pins in from the, the back. That way I can get the whole caliber together. And then I, the actuator will go on at last. Just think it'll be easier that way. At least that's how I've done them in the past. Okay. Probably make more sense to put the brake in there first. Okay, that, but that's how I want to do it. Okay, I'll put your shim in first. In there. And then I'll put your pad in. Okay, these take down. Okay, now what I want to do is I put them two pins in wherever they got to. There we are. I 
I have to take this uh, one bolt back out once I get this back together. one back off. This piece was on here. Alright, so now we gotta put this piece in here. Like that. I did these type of breaks. All right. oh, I know what this was. Now I know what this was for. This is a, a stop to keep that from going so tight. All right. I knew that. I knew that. Okay, so without this, the brake is partially applied. And everything just fell out. Oh, what you gonna do? Alrighty. Let's take this back off. Right, we got that. Let's get that out of my way for now. Get this back in here. We gotta get the brake pad back in there too. Started. Are my pins still in there? Yeah, my pins are still there. Okay, that's good. There we go. Alright. We'll get that back in place. your brake assembly. how your brakes work. I'm not very steady on this uh, thing here, so. Okay, at this point, what I need to do is I need to tighten up the adjuster nut. So if you want more brake pressure, you just tighten this nut in further. I don't want to go too far on it. I get it tight. Okay, we'll adjust them as we need to. I don't want to go crazy on it yet. I have to get a wrench to that or a deep socket. But now, what you want to do is you want to. I like to turn my axle so that the 
key is up. That way it's not going to fall off of there. Put your keyway on. Get your power. Line your keyway up. I think we'll have to move this out of the way a little bit. He doesn't fall out on you. There she is. Now you want to put your washer back on. And get your E clip. The easy way to do the E clip is with a channel lock or Side here might be a little more difficult, but usually you can just pop them on there real quick, like that. And that's it. Now I might have to make a few adjustments. Get her on the ground and see how well they grab or not. But other than that, we should be in good shape. 